Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the Alina Fieldhouse, where tonight on WOSN we've got a regional final. Somebody's moving on to the state tournament, and it will either be the third-seeded district champion Columbus Grove Bulldogs or the top-seeded Toledo Christian Eagles. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Dar Nevergall, and we'll bring you all the action today from inside the Alina Fieldhouse. And Dar, it uh, really doesn't get much bigger than a regional no, final. No. No, it is not. And this is a great venue to play any basketball in. It always has been, and usually it'll bring in a lot of fans and that kind of thing. Now, you've got a Toledo Christian team that probably is not bringing as many fans as you might think, but they're filling up over there pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, of course, Columbus Grove's bringing everybody that, in town, <laughs> so I don't know if there's anybody left in town, but, you know, it's a great venue to play in. And so when you take a look at the keys to the game for this afternoon, first for the Columbus Grove Bulldogs, the visitors on the scoreboard here at the Elida Fieldhouse, what stands out that Grove needs to accomplish to grab a victory this afternoon? Well, they're going to have to box out, box out aggressively. They need to keep these guys off the boards. They, not, they can't let Temple, Toledo Christian get second shots, you know, at all. And, and the other thing, too, is they need to get back on defense. This is an up-tempo Toledo Christian team. They like to run it up and down the court on you. You have to get back and defend on defense. You can't be staying down from one end of the court. The biggest thing for Columbus Grove tonight, slow the pace down to half court. Get yourself into the half court sets, play that kind of game, take the advantage of the best shots you can get, you know, put the ball in the basket. And then when you take a look at what stands out for Toledo Christian, what's the game plan for them to move on to the state tournament? Well, as always, they want to up-tempo it. They want to run you out of the court as fast as they can. They want to build a lead quickly. So you got to slow them down. They want to play hard on defense. They want to make sure that Grove has to earn every point that they get. And they want to cover up everybody on the inside as much as they can. And the biggest thing for Toledo Christian is don't let the role players beat you. Now, they know about Ock Moody and what Ock Moody can do and stuff, but they don't want to let the other players on that team beat them as well. So you got to keep the role players in check as well. So that's a look at our keys to the game. We'll step aside and when we return, first quarter action, starting lineups all coming up next here on WOSN. Starting lineups being introduced right now for this Division IV Regional Final. Neither Columbus Grove nor Toledo Christian has ever punched their ticket to the state tournament. Somebody's going to do it this afternoon and you're inside the Elida Fieldhouse. I'm Garrett C. Ryan alongside Dar Nevergall and getting set for this Division IV Regional Final as we meet the starting lineups. Columbus Grove comes into today 18 and 8 on the season. Finished tied for fourth in the Northwest Conference and yet find themselves here in this regional final at four and four. First we'll meet the officials. A lot of experience. Seth Middleton with 16 years, John Seidler 13 years, and Daniel Palmer with 10 years of experience as we got a good crew here for this Division IV regional final. Take a look at the starting lineups for Columbus Grove. Lauren Ockmoody, the five foot six sophomore guard, first team All Northwest Conference. Jalen Sauter, All Northwest third team. And then she'll be joined by Sage Clement, Nicole Nesby, and Bryn Fortman in the starting five for Columbus Grove. And then for Toledo Christian, take a look there at the starting five for the Eagles. We've got, we've got Mackenzie Royal Davis inside the center circle alongside with Nicole Nesby. As we are set to tip in this Division IV Regional Final, a tip is won by the Eagles. And Kendall Braden, the 5'8 junior guard, 14 Division I offers, averages 22 points per contest. Gets the ball right there. Yeah, that's going to be key for this Columbus Grove team. You know Braden is going to get her points. It's keeping everybody else out of there. Royal Davis muscles up a shot, can't hit. Rebound comes down to Bryn Fortman, but in a tough spot, able to dribble out of it. Og Moody, top of the key, throws right to Jalen Sauter, gives it right back to Og Moody. Nesby holds, puts it on the deck, falls loose, ripped away from the Bulldogs by Royal Davis. She'll go coast to coast. Foul committed by the Bulldogs. First for either side. 
And we talked about that in the pregame as Temple Christians, or Toledo Christians, going to want to go up and down this court as quickly as they can. And you can see it there on the turnover. They're going to just try to get down there as fast as they can. Game a little Butler. The inbound, Davis. Macy Winson. Braden gets, doesn't use the screen. Into the corner, Butler for three. Off the heel, rebound pulled down by Jalen Sauter. If Grove can continue to just give them the one shot, they're going to have a good advantage in this game. Sauter on the wing. Surveys, gives to Sage Clement. Hawk Moody. Nesby. Holds. Tries to drive past Royal Davis. Picks up the dribble. Lobs back out to the high right point. Great defense by Toledo Christian. Still scoreless on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Nearly an errant pass from Hawk Moody. And a foul committed by the Eagles. Goes against Jordan Rosales. Her first. That looks like we might be doing a quick. Rosales trying to shake that off. She went down hard on the court. Yeah. I twisted an ankle, it looks like. She'll be attended to on the end of the Eagles bench. Bulldogs inbound to Jalen Sauter. Hawk Moody tries to get it back to Sauter. Brayton steals it, but poked from behind by Bryn Fortman. Hawk Moody, Sauter, back to Hawk oh, Moody. Nice job. First bucket of the afternoon it goes to Columbus Grove. Hawk Moody averages 17 and 6. That's the first two for the Bulldogs. And this guy is going to be a real battle between those two. Royal Davis, the free throw line jumper. Mackenzie Royal Davis gets the Eagles on the scoreboard. Back quickly the other way, Sage Clement for three. No, rebound ripped down by Braden. She'll race up the floor. Behind the back dribble, free throw line jumper. Swirls out on her. Nesby the board. Five twenty to go here in this first quarter. 2-2. Jumper from Ockmoody off the mark. Rebound, That's Macy Wensink. Turnover number two for Columbus Grove. But they're doing a really nice job on defense of containing this Toledo Christian team. Kalona Butler, a Dale's concrete three-pointer, buries it in the first lead of the day for Toledo Christian, sits at 5-2. Yeah, Butler, a 41% three-point shooter. Hawk Moody got rid of it. Clement, mid-range jumper, no. And a rebound to Braden once more. Butler pumped on the three to the block, fouled in the lane. But I believe she'll shoot two free throws. First foul committed by Hawk Moody. Butler at the line, a 76% free, th free throw shooter. Can't hit the first. Yeah, this is going to take a little getting used to. This is a different court altogether for these teams. Full 94 feet. Butler's second free throw attempt. Drops that one in. She's got four of their six with 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. Eagles try to press. Bulldogs get it across the timeline. Yeah, that was one of those nuisance presses. Just not real strong, but just strong enough to try to make you throw the ball away. Nesby, hands off. Hawk Moody gets a screen, tries to work to the right, can't. Reverses, gives back to Sauter. To the right side of the bucket, no. Offensive rebound, Nesby, her putback attempt. Bulldog faithful, won a foul, didn't get it. Brayden, right wing, free throw line, kicks, Winsink. Royal Davis will let a triple fly, Whoa. buried it. 
Mackenzie Royal Davis shoots 33% from wow. out there. That's just her 34th attempt, too. Jumper on away from Fortman off the mark. 9 2 advantage for the Eagles. Braden races, free throw line. Winsink, baseline drive, bounces. Royal Davis lets another one fly. That one off the mark, hits the guide wire and out of play. I'll tell you, Garrett, this is going to be an important possession here for Columbus Grove. They need to stem this tide that Toledo Christian's got going right now. 9-2. Bulldogs scored the first point of the game. As they find Fortman, Nesby. Rim down on her. Royal Davis the board. Yeah, those are the baskets you got to get put in. You're not going to get many opportunities like that. You need to put those down. Kendall Braden inside the center circle. Gives to McKenzie Royal Davis. Back to Braden. Gets a screen. Step back from the free throw line. No. Long rebound, however. Chased down by Butler. Royal Davis posting up. Instead, Eagles work it to the left wing. Bounce back to Royal Davis in the lane, kicks out. Wide open, corner three. Another one splashed home, and a timeout called by the Bulldogs. We'll step aside as well after the triple from Jordan Rosales here on WOSN. Our scoreboard this afternoon provided by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit them at hawkerdrywall.com to see how they can help you. Hawker Drywall scoreboard doesn't look pretty to the Bulldog faithful. 12-2 here in the early going where Columbus Grove got on the, on the scoreboard first star and it's been a 12-0 run since by Toledo Christian where it just hit a couple of threes and got some easy looks at. Well, they're playing a really good half court game as well for Toledo Christian. I mean, you know, their big center underneath it popped up a couple on the outside, then she's moved inside, and she's opened up a couple girls on the outside again. Hawk Moody at the high right point. Doesn't use the screen from Nesby. Gets passed off the window. No. Long rebound. Still loose. Goes out of play. Off of Toledo Christian. Now, Columbus Grove's done a nice job on half-court offense of moving the ball around. They just haven't gotten it to fall. Yeah. And you know, they've had a couple opportunities just roll off the rim. So if they can start knocking down a few of those, they can print themselves back in this game. Foul committed by Kalona Butler. Her first, second committed by Toledo Christian here in the first half. Hawk Moody, the inbound in the backcourt. Right wing. Dances around the post. Off the window. No. Offensive rebound comes out to her. Tries to go up and under. Can't. Nesby gets another offensive rebound and put back. And the freshman gets her first basket to stop the bleeding. They needed that one desperately. Braden. Left elbow. Hands off Rosales. Guarded by Ock Moody. High left point. Macy Winsink. Well, Sage Clement's got the tough job out there of guarding against uh, Braden. And then you just see Toledo Christian throw it away. Braden wasn't even looking for that pass. Yeah, I should say the pass to nobody in the corner. The first turnover for the Eagles. Coming up on one minute to go here in this first quarter. As Jalen Sauter into the near corner. Brent Fortman for three. Rejected by Wensink. And another substitution is Mackenzie Royal Davis will come back on the floor for Toledo Christian. Hawk Moody inbounds. Under a minute to go in the first. Trailing 12-4. Straight away, Sauter. Back to Hawk Moody. Sauter holds. Gets a screen from Nesby. Into the corner. Sage Clement throws back. Hawk Moody, under 40. Nesby, the pick and roll. Denied. Davis, the outlet. Braden. 
off the window. Her first basket's up and good, and the lead grows back to 10. Boy, they just got such quick hands, don't they? They're all over the place. You've got to make your passes really crisp, or you're going to take, get them taken away just like that one was. Sauter works it around the perimeter to Clement. Hawk Moody, top of the key for three. Bang! Big three for Lauren Ockmoody, the Dales Concrete three. Braden from half court at the horn, good if it goes. Hits the bottom of the net, but it didn't go through the hoop. We played one. 14 to seven, Toledo Christian leads Columbus Grove after the first stanza here on WOSN. Back here inside the Alada Fieldhouse, Toledo Christian leads 14 to seven. Columbus Grove, the beneficiary of a Dales Concrete three at the end of the first quarter. Dales Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. And really, Dar, that, that three by Lauren Ockmoody at the end of the first quarter, really beneficiary, beneficial to Columbus Grove coming into this second quarter. Otherwise, they'd be staring down maybe a 10-point deficit. Yeah, that was a must shot for her. And, you know, finally had one open on the outside that she could put one up. Bryn Fortman tries to veil concrete three off the mark. Butler, the rebound, races up the floor. Stolen away by Columbus Grove. Hawk Moody. Tried to meander through that Toledo Christian D. Decides to stop at the top of the key. Yeah, smart move by Hawk Moody just to pull it back out again, set up your offense. You know, this is the way Columbus Grove can win this game is just play good, solid half-court offense. Sage Clement back to Hawk Moody. Let another Dales concrete three fly. That one rimmed down on her. Rebound to Butler once more. Into the corner. Rosales for three. No. Ball still loose. Still loose. We got a foul committed. Now they'll just say a jump ball, I believe. Possession arrow favors Toledo Christian. Rosales looks to inbound. Brayton for three. Buries the Dales concrete triple. Kendall Brayton has five. Now she's a 40% free th or three point shooter out there. Nesby down low. Got in a tough spot. Jump ball. So the Obviously, they didn't call a they didn't call a foul the last time down. They didn't call. I'm not sure what they called. I don't know they don't what think they called, they called anything. The jump ball still favors Toledo Christian. Nonetheless, looks like a diamond in one here, maybe from Columbus. Yeah, Grove. it looks like it. Maybe a box in one. Well, they're trying to clog up that middle, not let uh, Davis. Uh, Royal Davis underneath there. She's kind of the enforcer underneath for uh, Toledo Christian. A six-foot junior. She's a pretty good-sized girl underneath there to block out for everybody. Eagles patient this offensive possession. Butler on the wing. She'll let a contested three fly and buries the Dales concrete three. The lead grows to 20-17. That's their circuit second three of the night. And the ball's... Nearly stolen away, Ock Moody ends up with the loose basketball. Sauter, top of the key, gives to Clement. It's yeah, a screen from Nesby. The Lady Dogs just have to be careful with those passes. That was kind of lackadaisical try to type pass, and the Eagles almost took it away again. Sauter had her pocket picked. Winsink pulls it out, throws an errant pass. Ball's chased down in a corner. And a timeout call. We'll keep it here with 525 to go. You're in the second quarter, 20 to 7. Toledo Christian on a 6-0 run to start this quarter. And it's been kind of a, a, a spurty game for the Eagles. Had a 9-0 run earlier, a 6-0 run here. Uh, where Columbus Grove, you, you mentioned, in the half court has played pretty well, but just hasn't been able to, to finish. And now um, the, the defensive intensity for Toledo Christian has picked no, up. No, they haven't. And, and the Eagles have such quick hands, too, and you've got to make your passes really on the mark. And if you don't, you're going to end up feeding their offense. And that's what's happened in these runs is they've been able to take the ball away, feed their offense, get down there quickly, and either pop up a three or get it on the inside. And, 
if they continue to hit from the outside like they're hitting right now, it's going to be a long night for, the, for Columbus Grove. But they really just need to settle themselves down, play the offense on the half court, you know, make your passes good. They're having a hard time getting on the inside, though. That's their biggest thing. Bounce pass into Kendall Palti in the game for the first time. Ockmoody for three. Buries a Dales Concrete triple. Ockmoody with eight of Columbus Grove's ten. And now the lead is ten for Toledo Christian. That's her second three-pointer, both of them from that same spot out there. Rosales closed out on by Palti. Royal Davis kicks back to Butler. Drives in the lane. Floater, yes. Kaylona Butler with nine. Foreman, baseline, tried to bounce it to Nesby. Ball ripped away by the Eagles in the lane. Braden reverses back towards the middle of the floor. Off the window, can't hit Nesby the rebound, but she threw it to Fortman, who started to take off. Luckily, Bulldogs retain possession. I'll tell you what, those Eagles are all over the place, aren't they? They are. Hawk Mooney crosses over. Working there's, against Royal Davis. There's just no way to get in the pass on the inside. Hawk Moody, top of the key. Swatted at by Royal Davis. Jump stops, kicks. Fortman lost the handle when she went to put it up out of bounds off of her. That's six turnovers unofficially for Columbus Grove. And the Eagles make them pay for it every time. At the midway point here in the second quarter. 22-10, Toledo Christian the lead over the Grove Bulldogs. Slowly walking the ball up the floor is Jordan Rosales. She'll work to the wing. Butler, baseline. Off the heel, can't hit. Rebound though, grabbed by Wensink. Rosales, another Dales Concrete three. Another timeout called by Columbus Grove. We'll step aside as well. 25-10 Toledo Christian leads here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit them at hawkerdrywall.com to see how they can help serve you. Now right now, Garrett, you're looking at the Eagles at eight rebounds, just two turnovers, six for ten from three-point range, and that's a formula for success if I've ever heard one. <laughs> that, that it is. Tough to, tough to beat when you're shooting 60% from three. Hawk Moody across the timeline. Hands off. Three on away from Hawk Moody. No. Rebound to Brayton. Bulldogs haven't shot it as well from the Dales Concrete three-point range. Brayton stands just inside the midcourt stripe. Tries to pull out the defender. Guarded by Clement. She pulled oh. the basketball. Called for the carry. So the Bulldogs trail by 15. Get the basketball back without surrendering or any points. I think that's the longest I've seen her held on to the basketball tonight, too. Hawk Moody, the handoff. Clement, top of the key. Back to Hawk Moody. Crosses over. Tightly guarded, gets rid of it. 2.30 to go in this first half. 25-10. Sauter, the handoff. Clement, back to Sauter. Nesby gets the bullet pass. Right back, straight away for three from Clement. Can't hit, rebound to Wensink. Yeah, the Bulldogs just two for eight from three-point range. They've had some good looks at the Dales Concrete three. Just having a hit, and now a foul committed by Clement. Yeah, they certainly have good looks on the outside, but they just can't get the ball on the inside. There's just no room to maneuver underneath there. Approaching the two-minute mark. Here in his second quarter, inbound to Royal Davis in the corner. Kaylona Butler cross court pass to Jordan Rosales, isolated on that side. Now wants some help, dribbled it off her own foot. And it touched 
the end line and out of play. That was the fourth turnover for Toledo Christian tonight. Columbus Grove forced a couple of turnovers here. Had a couple of defensive stands. Haven't been able, though, to add any of their totals up on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. High ball screen from Nesby. Hawk Moody works to the right. Working on Royal Davis. Lobs. Nesby had it stolen away by Braden. Nesby just getting double teamed every time she gets the ball on the inside. Braden lost it herself. Grabbed by Clement. So we trade turnovers. Under 90 seconds to play here in this first half. 25-10. Hawk Moody with eight of Groves 10. Stands just inside the center circle with 115. Crosses over, continues the dribble. Sauter, back to Hawk Moody. Coach Schrader calling him, you know, gotta rotate around guys, we gotta get somebody open. Under a minute to go. Back cut, Fortman. In the lane, Nesby, teardrop floater, got it. She's got four. And that's the first bucket in a while for Columbus Grove. Yeah, that's the first time they've really had a nice play to get on the inside to the big girl and let her put it up over the net. Rose Alex at the high left point with 30 seconds in the quarter, leading 25-12. Mackenzie Royal Davis, heels on the center circle. Guarded by Nesby, goes at her. Kicks back out to Rosales. Butler with 15. Braden between the circles. Drives past the defender, rises, fires off the heel. Royal Davis, the offensive rebound. Kick back, Wensink for three, no. And that'll go out of bounds as the half ends. A missed Dale's concrete three at the end of the second quarter. Has the score, 25-12. Toledo Christian leads Columbus Grove at the halftime break here on WOSN. Our scoreboard this afternoon provided by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. HawkerDrywall.com. Visit them to see how they can help you. Also high school basketball tonight here on WOSN brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Dar Nevergall, bringing you all the action here from inside the Atlanta Fieldhouse. 25 to 12, Toledo Christian with the advantage as the second half about to get underway. And when Brian Schrader took his Bulldog squad to the locker room, Dar, what was the, the, the biggest message that he needed to get across there during those 10 minutes? Well, continue playing hard the way they have been, but also try to figure out how we can get it on the inside. We got to get some buckets on the inside, you know, if nothing else, just to set up our outside shooting. We've had a couple good looks on the outside, but really, we really need more looks on the outside than we're getting. And, and you just gotta you know, play hard and kind of trap these guys a little bit more, try to get the ball away from them a little bit more. Lauren Ock Moody had eight of Columbus Groves, 12 in the first half. With the basketball at the high right point. And Hawk Moody's the one has been really getting a couple good looks on the outside, but she's really been hawked by these guys. You know, they've been out there on her constantly. Bulldogs shot just under 29% from the three-point line in the first half. Sauter drives baseline, trying to get rid of it. Foul committed by Toledo Christian, who comes out playing a little zone here to start the second half. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, they, their man-to-man -man was doing so well and stuff. I don't know why they're coming out playing a little zone. They want to force you know, Columbus Grove to shoot it from the outside. I... Yeah, I'm not sure you want them to start firing off some Dale's concrete threes and get hot and claw no. back in. But nonetheless, Toledo Christian back to their man-to-man -man on the inbounds. Ock Moody, they'll get it down low to Nesby. She traveled with it. And that's the problem Nesby's had all night long in there. She gets the ball on the inside, then, then she gets doubled up real yeah, quick. I was going to say, has no Toledo time Christian. once she gets the ball. They are she doesn't dare put it on the court yeah, because they're all over. Sprinting at her. Butler, right side. Kendall Braden off a screen at the free throw line. Stripped. 
taken away by Columbus Grove. Sage Clement gives off to Jalen Sauter. Nicole Nesby comes out, sets the screen. Sauter, triple, off the window, couldn't hit. Ball tipped back out after the Dales Concrete miss three. Braden rises and fires from the free throw line. Silky smooth, she's got seven. Grows the lead to 27-12. Hawk Moody, 6-15 in the third. Braden Fortman gives back to Clement. Tried to bounce, kicked by Braden. So Bulldogs retain possession. Well, you see Coach Schrader over there just trying to walk his girls around and trying to get them to find somebody that's open somewhere. Inbound to Sauter. Holds. Hands off to Ockmoney. Columbus Grove and Toledo Christian each looking for their first ever trip to the state tournament. Clement has Ockmoney off his screen. Tries to drive and called for the travel. I don't know, Garrett. I don't know how do you go into the middle like that. I mean, there's, yeah, there's, it's just gummed up. There's yeah, no, just, nowhere to work. You can't go high with the ball. You can't go low with the ball because they got somebody on both sides of it with Royal Davis in there just, you know, taking the ball away from you if you go up high with it. Grove dropping back into the diamond and one. Guarding Braden. She comes off a screen. They'll bounce to Royal Davis, double teamed. She gets it right back. Butler, elbow, wind sink. Butler in the lane, pulls it back out, 5-20. Good defense by Columbus Grove on that one. So Butler. obviously the Eagles wanted to go on the inside and Grove denied them. And Butler, content to just watch the numbers tick off the clock now as Zockmoody comes out to guard her. Jaylona Butler. Back to the basket, short corner, lobs back out to Brayton. Long possession here for Toledo Christian. Brayton picks up the dribble. Winsink, the extra pass into the corner to Rosales. Tightly guarded, Butler. Sauter, forcing nearly a turnover. Excellent defense from Jalen Sauter. Nice job there, Akmar, Body and uh, Sauter as well, just double teaming the girl, not giving her any outlet. Approaching the four minute, 30 second mark. Well, this third quarter is Brayton, takes the handoff, thought about the jumper, she'll let it fly. And the Dales Concrete three off the mark. Twenty-seven, twelve. Columbus Grove forces the miss. Now needs to capitalize on the other end. Nesby, tightly guarded by Royal Davis, into the mid post, poked down a play by Braden. This game just flying along. I mean, we're already down four minutes, almost left of the yep. third quarter. Hawks move to the inbound, the backcourt. Uses the screen from Sauter. Uses the screen from Nesby. Fortman gets it down low to Nesby oh, off the nice. window. And she's got six. The 5'11 freshman chipping in. She is the only other Grove Bulldog who has scored outside of Lauren Ockbrody. 27-14 now. The first basket of the second half by Columbus Grove. And the first really good move on the inside that they've been able to get. Wensink bounces to Royal Davis. Back to the basket. On the block, Butler in the lane, floater off the heel, and she'll step to the free throw line. Only two free throws have been shot the entire game, both by Toledo Christian, both by Kaylona Butler as she takes another trip. Went one for two the last time. Buries the first. She's got an even 10 now. 76% free throw shooter, and this is a very good free throw shooting team.
Hits the second. Growing the lead at 29-14. Hawk Moody in the backcourt. Crosses the timeline. Gets the screen right down Main Street. Tried to kick in the corner, but it's stolen away. Put up. Can't hit Sauter. And then a jump ball. And a possession arrow favors the Eagles. 3-10 remaining. Great chance there for Columbus Grove. Couldn't convert. That's just sort of been the story of the night. Yeah, and I think Off Moody really had a shot at taking that herself. Really maybe, unselfish. Maybe a bit too to unselfish. Give it away, yep. but she may have had the better lane on that one. Jordan Rosales. Hands off. Ava Nitsky in the game. Sets the screen. Butler, top of the key. Guarded by Sauter, turns the corner. Got to the window. Kaylona Butler averages 12, now has 13, 2.40 to go in the third. Well, they worried about Braden tonight, but, you know, what she could do offensively, but really it's coming down to Butler that's taking over the show. Lauren Ockmody between the circles, under two and a half to go in the third. Working against Braden, gets the screen, jump stops, threw up the shot, off the mark, Braden the rebound, long outlet, up ahead to Rosales, clutched, didn't hit, Ockmody the rebound. And a foul committed by Nitsky in the backcourt. That'll be the first committed by Ava Nitsky. Second by Toledo Christian here in the second half. Timeout called by Columbus Grove. Trailing 31-14 here in the third quarter on WOSF. Our scoreboard tonight provided by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit them at hawkerdrywall.com to see how they can help you. Hawker Drywall scoreboard reads Toledo Christian 31-14 over the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Out of the timeout, Bulldogs regrouping, trying to put together a little run, climb back into this one. Hawk Moody across the timeline. It's back to Clement. Sage Clement hands off. Bren Fortman. Boy, every pass is a challenge right now for Columbus Grove. Sauter with the pass to Fortman. Screen from Nesby. Fortman will give to Hawk Moody. Nesby will come out, set to screen. Hawk Moody lobs back to Nesby. Fouled in the lane, and she'll shoot the first free throws for Columbus Grove this evening. Well, that's the play that they've got to have. They've got to be able to get that ball on the inside somehow. If nothing else, get to the foul line. Just over 90 seconds in this third quarter. Nesby, a 53% free throw shooter, misses the first. Average is 6.9, has six right now, looking for point number seven. Trying to trim the lead to 16. Nothing but net on that one, giving her seven points. Thirty-one fifteen. Eagles in the backcourt. Rosales gets it across the timeline to Butler. Guarded by Fortman. Sprints past her. Blocked by Nesby. Lands in the hands of Jalen Sauter. And somebody else besides Hawk Moody and Nesby. He has to get in the scoring column. Hawk Moody. Fortman. Nesby. Back to Fortman. Let's a deal's concrete three fly. No. And a foul committed by Clement on the rebound attempt. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. As Mackenzie Royal Davis will come back in a game for in exchange for Ava Nitsky. And Nicole Nesby. We'll take a seat on the bench for Columbus Grove. As Kendall Palti will log some minutes for the Bulldogs. This has been a very frustrating game for the Columbus Grove Lady Dogs, you can tell. Braden in the corner, Wensink missed the Dales concrete three. 
Eagles have cooled off from behind the arc here in the third quarter. Ock Mooney doesn't use the screen. Turnaround jumper, no. Royal Davis a rebound, 25 seconds. Braden across the timeline at 20. Well, playing this kind of defense when both teams have been playing, boy, it takes up a lot of energy. Yes. And you can tell it out there looking, watching some of them out there. Mackenzie Royal Davis to the window, fouled by Palti, and she'll shoot two free throws. Royal Davis, 79% free throw shooter, the six foot junior with five points today. Now has six. Just over six seconds remain in the quarter. 32 15. Toledo Christian. Now 33 15. A little one handed shot there. Bulldogs go the length of the floor with three, with two. Ockmody, good if it goes. Whoa. Didn't. Got as close as you can get. Wow. And that'll do it for the third quarter. 33 15. Bulldogs trail. We'll try to put together a tough fourth quarter coming up on WOSN. High school basketball tonight on WOSN brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential needs. Final quarter in this Division Four Regional Final about to get underway. Toledo Christian, 33, Columbus Grove, 15. Bulldogs begin the quarter with the basketball. Boy, there was a lot of action there in that third quarter for just 11 points. Columbus Grove only managed in three points in that quarter. They've been held to single digits every quarter. Gonna need to break that streak to punch their ticket to the Division Four State Tournament. Palti holds, puts it on the deck, gives to Sauter. Sauter lost the handle, slaps the floor in anger. And the Eagles have possession of the basketball. Well, the Eagles are going to be content to kind of draw back out now and kind of work it around a little bit, eat some time off this clock. Leading by 18. Mackenzie Royal Davis reverses and hands off to Butler. She'll rise and fire for three. Didn't hit, and she'll get three cracks at it from the free throw line. Well, Butler, an honorable mention, all Northwest Ohio, and you can see why. Got the first one. She's at 14 points here in this Division Four Regional Final. The 5'6 senior. It's the second, now with 15. And she'll go back to the third, for the third attempt from the line. Nearly got the and one. And she knocks home all three. So Butler has grown the lead, 36-15. Nesby. Seven at the line tonight. Pass inside to Nesby, poked down a play by Butler. So with exactly seven minutes remaining, Columbus Grove inbounds to Nesby. Hands right off to Ock Moody. Screen from Nesby. Hawkwoody with eight points tonight. Been held scoreless here in the second half. Nearly hit that half court three at the end of the third quarter. Now she's isolated against Royal Davis. Blocked. Got it right back, however. Pass to Nesby. Denied by Butler. And a foul committed by the Eagles. I'll tell you what, Gary, with all the action that we've seen tonight, there has not been that many fouls, really. No. It's been a really clean game just being called by the referees. 
Sauter back to the basket. Bounces to Nesby. Hawk Moody thought about the contested three instead. Lobs to Nesby in the lane, and she trapped. Six fifteen to go. Kendall Brayton, who's been held remote for the most part in check, averages twenty-two, has seven. Brings the ball off the floor, gives to Wensing. And they pretty much turned this game over to Butler, really, tonight. Instead of Braden, Braden, everybody putting so much concentration on Braden, the Butler's just pretty much taken over. Royal Davis hands off to Braden, turns the corner, pulls it back out, crosses over. Tried to get rid of it, stolen away by Sage Clement. Five and a half to go. Ock Moody in the lane. Tied up. And a jump ball points towards the Eagles. Just has been another timeout called here by Brian Schrader, the Columbus Grove head coach. It's just been unfruitful trip after unfruitful trip down for Columbus Grove. Toledo Christian just so good defensively. Well, you just can't get it on the inside. You can't put it down. I think Nesby might be a little bit better off if she doesn't try to put it down on the court when she gets that inside pass, just take it right up to the basket because once you put it down on the court, you're, you're doomed because they're all over the place and they've got too many hands down there. So just when you get that pass, just take it on up. You know, try to draw the foul if nothing else. 36-15 here in the fourth quarter in this Division IV Regional Final. Again, neither squad has ever been to the state tournament. So somebody's going to get the first time. Toledo Christian with the decisive advantage here in the fourth quarter. Columbus Grove led in scoring so far by Lauren Ockmody, eight points. Nicole Nesby with seven. The only two Bulldogs in the scoring column tonight. Yeah, and ockmody has been held scoreless here in the second half altogether. You know, they've been all over her all night long. There's no doubt about it. They knew what kind of scorer she could be. But, you know, the inability to get the ball inside for the Columbus Grove Bulldogs has really been their downfall tonight. Butler bounces to Braden on the block, tied up. And the possession arrow now favors Grove. Yeah, and the fact that only two players for Columbus Grove have scored tonight, and they haven't been able to get anybody else on the scoring column. Hawk Moody up and under with the scoop shot. Just the fifth point of the second half for Columbus Grove at the five-minute mark of the fourth. Butler might have walked with it, got away with it. And a timeout called by Toledo Christian. 4.48, Eagles with the lead in the fourth here on WOSN. Our scoreboard this afternoon provided by Hawker Drywall and Plastering. Visit them at hawkerdrywall.com to see how they can help you. 36-17 on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. Toledo Christian with the lead. Looking to inbound the basketball to Braden. Jump stops in the lane, fouled before this shot. That'll be the fifth foul committed by Grove. The third foul on uh, Sage Clement. Looks like Kendall Pulte just entered the game. Inbound to Royal Davis. Got the hoop and the foul. Give her nine points now. And the six-foot junior will look to convert the old-fashioned three-point play and grow the lead to 22. Swirls it around and down. She's got 10. 39-17 on a Hawker drywall scoreboard. She's three for three at the line tonight. 
Hawk Moody, deep three. Bottoms on the Dales concrete triple. It's 13 points now for the 5-6 sophomore. That's a deep triple. Nearly got the steal. Butler works it around. Brayton right of the center circle. As we approach the midway point of the fourth quarter. Butler bullets a pass to Jordan Rosales. Butler gets it right back. Tries to turn a corner, does. Nearly dropped in the bucket instead. Two more free throws coming for Kaylona Butler. And that's one thing to point out for this Columbus Grove team, Garrett, is the fact they are a very young team. Oh, yeah, you look down absolutely. There, there's only two seniors on that roster. You know, and Ockmood, he's only a sophomore. Butler's first attempt, too strong. A rare miss for the 5'6 senior. Honorable mention, all Northwest District. Kendall Brayton, by the way. Northwest District Player of the Year for Toledo Christian. As Butler now has 17 after the make. And it's 40-20. Royal Davis, first team, all Northwest. Hawk Moody sees a path to the bucket. Scoop shot, fouled. And she'll shoot two. Her first trip to the foul line. Foul committed by Butler. Her second. It's just the fourth by Toledo Christian. 70% free throw shooter at the line. Drops it in. She's got 14. That's a hard fought 14 points. Yes. I'll tell you what. She has worked her tail off tonight. Second free throw attempt from Mark Moody. That one's short. Butler grabs the rebound. Brayton, three on one. Gives off to Wensink. And her first basket of the evening. Throws the lead, 42-21. Hawk Moody, pump fakes. Gives to Sauter. Back to Hawk Moody. A step back, Dale's concrete three, short. Rebound, though, hawked down by Bryn Fortman. Baseline drive by Palti in a tight spot. Threw it out of bounds. Uh, threw it off of Royal Davison out of bounds. Boy, they do such a nice job trapping underneath the basket. Sauter try to get rid of it. Palti in the lane. Bounces. Clement for three. Missed everything. Lands in the hands of Butler. Under three minutes remaining in this Division IV regional final. Ball's loose. Jump ball. Possession arrow points towards Toledo Christian. Butler the inbound. Crosses the timeline. Will hold and throw to Winsink. Just made her first basket of the evening. All five starters for Toledo Christian now in the scoring column. As Butler sprints past the defender, kicks Rosales back out to Winsink. As Toledo Christian content to watch those numbers fall off the scoreboard. Yeah, they're going to run time off now. They don't have to hurry anything. Rosales back to Brayton. Kendall Brayton with just seven points today. Two in the second half as Rosales can't hit. Rebound, though, comes out to Butler with two minutes. Well, Toledo Christian shooting hasn't been exactly lights out, but they've put enough points on the board tonight to, to take this big lead. Fifth foul committed by Sage Clement. And Columbus Grove will send five new players to the scorer's table. Four new players to the scorer's table. 
And Toledo Christian will do the same. Forty-two twenty-one is the Eagle faithful. Rise to their feet. Columbus Grove gives their players a standing ovation as well. Getting to the regional finals is a spectacular accomplishment, no matter how you slice it. Braden at the line. Missed, so she'll get to stay in for just a little while. It's Jade Siefker. Gives to Ruth Myers. Whole new host of Bulldogs on the floor. At least Fortman into Jade Seeker. She'll rise and fire off the window. No. Grace Fortney the rebound. For Toledo Christian as Braden crosses the timeline. Timeout called. Yeah, that's to get Braden out of the game. I guess an official's timeout as, the, as Reagan Markley comes in the game. Oh, no, it was a 30-second timeout that we're not going to really, <laughs> we're not going to really assess. So under 90 seconds now. Final score that's all that needs to be decided. As the Eagles will go dancing to the state tournament for the first time in school history. Markley, turnaround, foul committed by Ruth Myers. Thought she got a clean block. Nonetheless, Reagan Markley, a 5'8 freshman guard, will step to the free throw line. This has been a really hard fall game for Columbus Grove Lady Dogs. They have nothing to be ashamed of in this game at all. They came out and they played their hearts out. First one for Markley, the first bench point for Toledo Christian for either side. She'll step back to the line. Just over a minute to go. That one doesn't drop. Bulldogs with the basketball. It's Jade Seifker. Gets in the corner to Elise Fortman. Dale's concrete three on the way. Nearly dropped for Jade Seifker. Yeah. Would have been a nice... Way to cap this one off for Columbus Grove. Sure would. That would have been somebody else in the scoring column, too. Get another rotation here as Ava Nitsky, 5'9 junior, on the floor. Will come off the floor. Katie French, a 5'3 freshman now in the ballgame for Toledo Christian. Under 30 seconds. And everybody on the floor, they practice hard throughout the season. They should, you know, get the opportunity to play here, put the ball on the deck. Let a couple shots fly. Columbus Grove gets the basketball back with 22 seconds. They get a chance to play in a regional final game on a big court. Jade Seifker with the basketball. 10 seconds. Ruth Myers. Dale's concrete three off the mark. Toledo Christian will watch it go out of play. They got to inbound it one more time before they're moving on to the Division Four state semifinals at the UD Arena next week for the first time in school history. Toledo Christian now 22 and four on the season takes down Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Will end the season at 18 and nine. And a magical run to the regional finals. Ends just shy of the state tournament. But a spectacular run put together by the Columbus Grove Bulldogs this postseason, Dar. Yeah, a great run for Columbus Grove. I mean, you know, like I said, this is a young squad out there. You know, you got a lot to look forward to next year. Akhmati is just a, a sophomore. She's going to be back next year. You know, and then you got a freshman center out there, played the entire game. You know. This is a very strong Toledo Christian team. They can yep. go really far in the state tournament. And it really came down to, you know, Braden, their all-everything player, really had an off night, really, and was defense well, but then Butler came through with the points they needed. So, you know, they got good defense. They got a good 
good, strong rebounding team, you know, they could go really far. So that'll do it from us here inside the Elida Fieldhouse. Columbus Grove falls in the regional finals, 43 to 21. Lauren Ockmoody, 14 points in the loss, joined in the scoring column. Nicole Nesby added seven in defeat. The final score, the final time, Toledo Christian 43, Columbus Grove 21. For our spectacular WOSN crew in Darn Evergall, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.